In this video, we're going to be talking about why real alphas move in silence. So, the world we live in now, everybody knows everybody's business. The internet has made the world a very small place. So we know, we see a lot more of what other people's lives look like, right? Although we only see a snapshot, when we have a tendency to compare our whole experience to this snapshot, right? And what that does is it, it can trigger a lot of our unconscious programs. So if you don't feel good enough and you scrolling through social media and you see something great that someone else is doing, you're going to project your lack of self-worth onto that image or that person or whatever you're looking at. And that's going to make you feel inferior. In that inferiority, you're going to feel like you need to compensate for that. You need to do something more. Or you need to talk more about what you're trying to do or become, right? You need to be more. But in reality, what's actually happening is you're compensating for a weakness within you. And most people, or a lot of people, should I say, don't ever actually pursue their true purpose. They're really just reacting from feelings of lack and self-worth. And from that place, you're never really going to win. You're never going to win the game of life. So the first thing you have to do is you have to determine what is your purpose. Independent of what other people are doing. Your purpose has to come from your own gifts and talents that you've been blessed with, right? Not what the internet tells you you should be doing. Or what you see other people doing that are making you feel like you're not good enough. You need to find your own purpose. Just look at what you're good at. And when you determine that, you've got to keep quiet about it. Just because other people brag and talk big, it doesn't mean you need to. You need to keep quiet, get your head down and just go to work, right? Talk is one of the cheapest forms of validation. I can't remember the stats now, but there's this famous quote where they say, 5% of uh, communication is verbal. <laughs> so if you have a tendency to talk big, if you have a tendency to tell other people the things that you're up to, whether it's friends or whoever, just cut it out. Your energy speaks louder than words, right? And if you just go about your business, whatever that is, your energy will let people know that you're changing. Your energy will introduce you, right? People will just look at you differently. You won't need to say anything. The impact you have when your energy changes is so much greater. It's actually so much more validating as well, right? Because just talking, it's the cheapest form of validation that you can ever kind of get involved with. So keep quiet. Go about your business. Work on yourself. Watch how people's reactions to you change as your energy shifts. It's all energy, right? Dial into it. Isn't it Tesla that said, think in terms of energy. Not cheap words. No bragging. Cut it out. And I actually believe when you hold things in, when you don't speak or brag, and you just move in silence, that energy begins to build, it's like retention, semen retention, right? If you retain, that energy begins to build, right? You can feel it when you're just out and about. It can get quite difficult to contain that for the guys who do re retain. It's the same way. Just don't speak what you're up to. Move in silence. You'll feel the energy build. You'll want to speak it out. You'll want to share it. Yeah, maybe you can share it with business partners if that's what you're pursuing or close family members who it's directly going to impact. But outside of that, don't share anything about your own moves, your intentions, your goals. Just don't go there, right? If people ask me what I'm up to, I'd say, yeah, I'm just working. I've got a nine to five. Yeah, just nine to five it. <laughs> I don't really share anything outside of that. The reason you don't really want to share with everyone as well, the big reason is because if people don't believe in themselves, they're going to shoot you down right? They're not going to believe in you. Everyone 
is only always projecting their own beliefs onto reality, right? Even people who are very close to us. And I found this out the hard way myself by telling people my own goals, they've shot me down, right? And it's kind of knocked my confidence because they haven't believed in me. But I understand now that people can't believe in you if they don't believe in themselves. So rather than me getting caught up in that, I just move in silence. I don't share things with people, right? I'll, I'm, I'll let the results do the talking, right? Just show up differently. Allow that energy to just speak through you, right? So the key thing here is to catch the tendency, if you have this tendency to to talk a lot, to brag and let talk, tell people about things that you're up to, maybe do it to girls to maybe impress them or feel accepted by someone, cut it out. But the first stage is to just catch if you're doing it, right? I think a lot of us do it on even microscopic levels. We're always looking for validation and acceptance from other people. And when you begin to catch that and realize, okay, the reason I'm bragging or talking a lot is because on some level, I'm feeling inferior and I'm looking for some sort of acceptance. That's the root cause of it. Understand the root cause and you'll stop doing it. And one of the biggest things I've seen that really kind of messed with me is I would see guys, a lot of guys actually, I don't know if girls do, but I've noticed it in a lot of guys who just blatantly lie. Just tell blatant lies, right? I've never really understood it. I've never been that guy who just lies. And the only way I've been able to make sense of it is because they just don't feel good enough. Maybe they're trying to prove themselves or maybe they think I'm better than them in some way or whatever it is. But just don't lie about anything, even whether you're trying to impress a girl or anything. Just be honest and true, always. Every time you lie, even if it's a small white lie and you think no one's ever going to know about this, the thing is, you know you lied. You know when you're the most important person in your life. So if you're telling little white lies here and there, you're losing integrity and respect for yourself, right? And like I said, you're the most important person in your life. Why would you want to disrespect yourself? You might get away with something by lying, but it's destroying your self-esteem and personal integrity, right? And without them things, you're nothing. These are the things that you really need to build your life upon. Self-respect, dignity, integrity, honesty, right? And that stuff is really what changes your energy, right? That's the stuff that's really going to attract that girl to you. That's the stuff that's really going to attract the higher quality experience to you, right? So just cut it out. Don't lie, <laughs> just be as honest as you can be and sometimes that's not easy to do right but more so just move in silence do what you've got to do handle your business eventually think about the impact that will have when you just show up one day and you've you can celebrate a win okay think about how big that will be people will have no clue about what you're up to one day you'll show up with this huge win and you can all celebrate together right and then, like a ninja, just go back undercover, handling your business, right? Celebrate the wins, then just disappear again. Literally, like a ninja. That's what I'm asking you to be. So be a ninja. <laughs> That's the moral of the video, right? Move in silence. God bless.